it's not it's not hard to you know to work on someone and, and to tell them where their where their strong points and their weak points are and what do you think they need to work on um and that just helps you know you and your teammates get better so it's it's that's a huge thing is like because when you watch yourself play you know you don't see the same thing like just like when you you know read a paper after you write it you still miss some of the things that you clearly you know should edit like even if it's a typo you, you run over it so it's the same thing with theater like running over your theater yeah it helps but it only helps so much because you're always seeing everything in your limelight and not in, in someone else's so don't, don't be a, don't be like a, afraid to to grab a teammate like over a week and just make him like a, a, a study film buddy but um besides that then the other stuff like for CTF um like I said you guys know all that sp spawn stuff so when you do get um let's say when you do get that that like the double kill or or something like that um like that's you, you guys know now I, like have you guys been do you guys notice the tendencies at all when you guys have played have you guys been playing at all recently sure. yeah. yeah like you guys see like wh how the just how the spawns and everything lays out kind of like what how it unfolds when you're when you're playing <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, do you, have you guys? Has anyone else watched my stream at all? By the way. Nice. Yeah, if you guys got a chance, like that's a huge way to see is like when when I'm like it's it's definitely harder for you guys to notice because like unless you're destroying a team, it's really hard to see the tendencies. But if you like watch my stream, like a lot of times we get matched up with uh, <laughs> a lot of less fortunate people. So like you you can see just the spawn like tendencies and the orders of, of what it is and since I'm you know the guy who like knows all that stuff and taught you it just it really it, like like he said it he you can recognize it so um now like I said besides the besides that stuff for the CTF like where you want to run a flag is obviously distinguished you know by by the you know what we talked about so when you let, let's say, like, you know, there's the spawns, you know, like I said, all in the flag, there's the big door spawns, um, the evade spawns, the balcony spawns, and the, you know, the back wall spawns, and the under the base ones. So, depending on where you want to run the flag is, you know, where you're not only, you know, hopefully blocking an area if you get to there quick enough, but depending on, you know, where the, how the rest of the play unfolded is where you want to go. Now, let's say, you know, we got the, you know, we got a kill on, on big door and a kill on... Let's say under their base and a kill on jetpack and a kill on evade. You know, obviously, you just gotta want to start running out the window the quickest way possible because if you cancel out all those, you know, all those necessary routes or whatever, then you're gonna see them spawning up on that balcony. So what you need to do is like the majority of the time, like if you're killing people in the base, a lot of the times the tendency is for them to spawn out here on the balcony. So if you know that you know two or three people are dead and they're they're gonna be spawning. You know what rats can they take to stop your flag? They can only either take this one, and they can throw you know bounce and aid if if you go on the front jump, or they can you know maybe either come all the way around and come drop down, or they can come all the way around and go back wall. But those are obviously slower routes. So when you when you are the guy running the flag, yo guys, I think they're spawning balcony. Someone watch watch the health pack, and what all they need to do is just throw nades literally right here, or just have a guy on you know your radio. Or have a guy on our street or on jet on drop down, you know, anything. Just just making sure to cut to cut that, that route off. So like um, when you go through theater on your own, you guys will see a lot of the tendencies of uh oh, when I kill when I kill these people here and when I'm moving around here and my teammates are here, I'll see that, you know, a lot of the times they spawn big doors. So, you know, now in your head you you're a step ahead of them because they don't know where they're spawning. But let's say you know, alright, I know they're spawning big door for instance. What routes can they take to stop me as I'm running the flag of aid? Well, they can either go this way, or they can maybe get a few shots of me from window. But you know, the only thing that they really can do is, is are those two routes. So what do I need to watch? I need to be on street, and I need a guy have watching our big door, a guy watching our window, so that you know the guy running at evade with or flag with the you know with evade back to our base doesn't get doesn't get chopped up. So it's that's really just just like it's it sounds so basic, and it like really is, but people make it so hard on themselves. Um, because of like without the spawn knowledge, you really do make it harder on yourself. Like if you know exactly, oh, they're gonna spawn here. I'm a step ahead of them. All right, where, 
where do I need to stand? Like, now they're standing thinking, all right, where are they running it? Like, they're the confused ones, you know? They're the, thing, the guys that, that has desperation on their mind. And you're the one that's comfortably sitting knowing where they're going to spawn. So don't, like, don't overthink too much. Just get in a good spot that can block some routes off. And, and, and you'll get a cap. Now, like, another thing is, like, when you're the flag guy and you're running it, and you don't see anyone, uh, like, you know, covering your, your, your nine or whatever it is, or your six, like, wherever you... Wherever you need to, let's say, you know, I was running at Evade, I knew they were spawning a big door. Yo, is anyone watching my big door or my window? Anything? Have no one responds, and you know to just hold the flag. Like, you you know, if someone just says, yo, just hold it, don't run in yet, because we don't know. So, it's just, remaining. it's a huge deal to to communicate all that kind of stuff. When you're the guy running the flag, you have to you have to communicate and tell them, you know, what's on your mind. Like, oh, I'm going to run it here. You don't want to be the silent guy. Like, a lot of the times, people uh, get in this silent mode because... I think they're being sneaky when they're holding the flag, or like even when people are behind a person, like, oh, hold on, this guy, this guy on this catwalk, like, sees this standing right there, like, I'm gonna assassinate him, and I'll, this guy will always be quiet, and like, yeah, all right, got him, like, this guy can easily be like, hold on, guys, I'm coming behind him, like, they can't hear you, you haven't muted, there's no reason to like, if you're flanking someone, to not be vocal, like, and that's a huge problem with like a lot of the flankers, in, at, even on pro teams, is that people won't say, hey, I'm coming behind him, or. Like, I remember our team with Defy, Defy would always be like, yo guys, I got a mega flank. Which meant, like, I'm behind, like, three people, I'm about to fuck shit up, just help me out for a second, and we'll get a triple kill. So, like, you could have, you know, like, oh, I'm flanking, like, don't expect me to come back, type of deal. Or, yo, I'm running away real quick when I'm coming back. But that's what exactly what a flank is, is, oh, I'm running away and I'm coming back. So, when you're saying I'm flanking, I'm flanking, give me ten seconds, give me five seconds, that keeps it in your teammates' minds. Alright, now I'm the bait, I just need to bait myself for five or ten seconds. And give my guy time so he can come behind him. So, like, just a huge part of, uh, like, Halo is just on-the-fly strategy. And, like, on-the-fly communication. That's why I value it so much. And that's why I talk about it so much in my lesson is, like, just, um, you can, you know, get good at all your technical skills. You can play as much Rumble Pit as you fucking want until your eyes bleed. And you can have the best sniper in the game. But at the same time, teamwork will do you. So, like, the more you're talking, the more comfortable you get. It's the same thing as any skill. The more you practice it, the better you'll get. So when, you, when you're communicating as much as you can is when you'll start seeing results. Um, you'll, you'll start fumbling over your words, and then you'll be like, you know what, I'm cutting that fucking word out. I, wanna, I don't want to say that kind of stuff anymore. That's why, like I said, in, in, on my team especially, we'll always do the, uh, like, a, oh, man, like, I got to... Uh, we gotta make sure that we we keep our our callouts as two syllables, you know, instead of like three or anything. Like even even balcony, we find is like it's just not something we want to say. But um, so like th just to keep everything short and sweet, and and you don't need to get confused. Like obviously, you know, some people are like, oh, I'm getting confused with a few of these callouts, but uh, you know, you can you you put you change from bumper to jumper to default in a week. You gotta figure it out. It's the same thing with a callout. It's not hard to get used to it. So. Um, hold on one second. What the heck is this? Hold on one second. Um, alright, do you guys have any questions at all, by the way, about any of this stuff? Yes, no? <laughs> um, let's see. I'm trying to think if, you, so do you guys wonder over, like, all the other ones, like Sanctuary and, 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 uh, what was, excuse me, Zealot, like, by, on your own time or no? Like, I remember, uh, when you talking to me about how you guys, like, did a few map, um, like, routines, whatever, on your own time. Is that true? Yeah, uh, you would probably see us ask you for, for more time than go over, let's say, for example, Sanctuary this time. Okay. And, uh, what we have been doing is, uh, like, next week we'll, we get together and, and we go over what you taught us and play that a little. Ah, I got you. So, like, that's why you're doing the every other week strategy type of deal. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that, that's our first time. Huh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I gotcha. Alright, well, um, 
let me think. I'm trying to. Th I mean, I would go over another map because, like, like I would go over like technicalities, like, oh, what you can do in this situation and that situation. But at the same time, like, I don't know, like, like you said, like you guys need have a lot to take in. So, like, I don't want to go over the the little things yet. Um, like that's why I'm only going over like, oh, starting strat here. What you doing here? What you can do a general strat for rockets, a general strat for sniper. Like, we don't. We, like I don't know where you guys are at with communication status and what you where you guys are with uh, like coordination wise. So like I don't want to push for like you know like add a, like any any further. And like I do I even though you know what I mean like you guys already have a lot to take in as it is. So once you get more specific, it's definitely gonna get a lot more confusing. Like um you know obviously like I said the basic strat like oh if I kill a guy here here and here, I you know it's not hard to point put little markers around the map, but. And like, and that's, sorry, sorry. and like, that's in a perfect world. Like I said, like that's if, when I'm saying, oh, if I kill kill a guy here, here, and here, and I'm saying that in a perfect aspect, meaning like, all right, this guy, all four of these guys died at the exact same time in these spots, and so you know what I mean, like where are they gonna spawn next? So rather than like, oh, this guy died here first, you know, this guy died here second and third and fourth. So you know, what's the, what's the, you know, the answer to that question? What's the, what's the, you know, outcome? So, like, there's so many other little scenarios and, and stuff like that, like, what you can expect, and if I get a double kill here and my teammates are here, what should I do? But that stuff is is not only situational, but it's it's a lot more specific, and I don't want to, like, lose you guys with that kind of stuff. Um, sure, well, if you have time, I mean, we could uh, do a quick free flag and you could stand where you did that last time, and make a few more comments before the hour's up. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind, uh, wait, you said do a quick little, uh, flag game, you said? Yeah, you do a quick free flag game or something? Yeah, let's see. Game over. Why don't you, uh, why don't the, the red, the, uh, blue team, uh, be myself, Falcon, and Bowser? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll do it. Yep. Alright, you guys ready? Oh wait, hold on, let me just make sure it's... Alright, there we go. Capture the flag. Look at window. You guys want to rock it. 